Good morning, Natasha. Are you excited about today? Really excited, Natasha. So today we've got Daniel Andrews, the Premier of Victoria, coming to visit Banyan Fields. Great opportunity for us today to show off our wonderful school. He's going to go around and see a lot of students who are going to be using our digital technology because we, we're trying to develop the digital curriculum as we move forwards towards the Victorian curriculum. So he's going to see Seesaw, he'll see Sphero, which is a uh, interactive robot that students can program and move it around. Hopefully he'll see the 3D printer in action as well, and he'll get to have a chat with some of our swimmers who've taken part in the Life Saving Victoria program at Park in Frankston. So yeah, it's going to be a really good day. Um, hopefully, we'll, he'll have he'll have fun here, and uh, Natasha, good luck interviewing him. Thank you. Thank you. we use technology at school is we create by creating digital learning journals. We used to have learning journal books, but we believe the digital are much better. It's organised properly and we can take pictures of any work we are proud of <coughs> instantly. The app we are using is Seesaw and we can make videos, picture collages, record voiceovers and use drawing tools to show other students, teachers and how and our parents our achievements throughout the year. In addition to that, our parents are able to look at our progress made throughout the year from home. Ryan and Malia are going to show you how we use CSO. You get to change what the state will look like and how the state will function in five years, ten years, maybe even longer, uh, in terms of some of the things we do. Some of the, the some of the schooling programs, whether it's kind of kinder and those early years, primary school, secondary school, TAFE, all of those investments are, are some of my favourite investments, and they're great fun because we get to visit lots of schools, we get to meet with lots of teachers, and not just teaching staff, but support staff as well, parents, uh, and to talk about just how important these things are. The money we spend in our schools is many billions of dollars, but it's not a cost. It's a really powerful investment, so that you've got the skills that you need that all of you have got the skills you need, which are very different to the skills that I was taught when I was at school. Uh, and I think some of the te technology is probably the biggest, the biggest difference. I think you're much more involved in the things that you learn. You're much more involved in the process. When I was your age, I was gonna try not to use that phrase, but when I was your age, we'd sat in the classroom and the teacher basically told us things. And we sat down, we wrote them down, and we learned them. It was more about memorizing things rather than being involved and part of the process. So I suppose that's a long way of saying my job is fun, and I, from looking at you today, I think this school is fun, isn't it? Yes. This is a fantastic, <laughs> fantastic place. So yes, it's a lot of fun. Today we are here with the Victorian Premier, Mr Daniel Andrews. Hello Mr Daniel Andrews. Good morning. We have been preparing for the new digital curriculum. We have been learning Scratch, Tinker, and even the 3D printing now, which is helping us with coding. What technology areas of study do you believe is the most important for the future schools? It's a really good question. I think technology is a big part of working life and learning today, and it's going to be an even more important part as we look to the future. Mm -hmm. The best way to answer the question is if you look at the technology, the different things that I used when I was at school, none of those exist anymore, and none of the ones that you use today uh, existed back, back then. So in many respects, the jobs that you'll do, the skills that you'll need, the tools that you'll need, if you like, uh, perhaps we haven't even invented those yet, but we're doing things like introducing tech schools and the first of those will open next year. So when you're in secondary school, you can go and spend some dedicated time each week, each month, um, learning about practical applications, so things like engineering, coding, uh, robotics, pneumatics, all of those things. Um, those technical skills, practical skills, together with the other investments that we're making around maths and science, because all, all technology is based around those those key um, learnings that come from maths and science. All those investments are really important, I think. But the key point is um, there's a real, there's a, there's a sense of adventure in this because I don't quite think any of us know where the technology will take us yeah. or indeed what sort of discoveries we might make. And you have to harness that and be inspired by it. And I think that learning about coding, 
learning, as you said, uh, about lots of different technological issues and disciplines, the possibilities are really endless. Uh, and there's a great sense of excitement. I know my kids, who are in grade four, grade six, and year eight, um, they've got a lot more technology in their basic studies than we would ever have dreamed of. Uh, and perhaps their kids will have even more than them. The year six students have been preparing their own unique Australian flag. What key elements do you believe should go on their flag? Well, there's always a lot of public debate about this. Not a lot. There's often some, some pretty spirited public debate about whether our flag represents our nation properly and whether we should change it, whether we should move to something different. I think our flag's unique now, so that ticks that box. It's pretty unique. But in terms of a change, uh, I think you want the flag to represent our past and to pay a respectful, um, pay a respectful attention to those who helped to build our nation to Australia's first peoples. Uh, but then it's got to represent what we're doing now and who we are now, but also be really hopeful about the future. And if you can capture all those three things, then perhaps that's that's the sort of unique national emblem that we should be looking for. Yeah. Have you got? Have you had any ideas? Have you? Yep, I've made a plan. Yes. Yep. I've been adding a kangaroo and an emu, yes. and a symbol which shows light. Yes. They want to see the light side, the correct side instead of the dark side. Make footprints because they're going to. They've left the past. Yeah. They're going to the future. The journey. Yeah, the journey to the future. Oh, wonderful. Well, it's a really interesting exercise in that it gets you thinking about where is where Australia's come from. Yeah. The things that are great and that we should celebrate today. The things that are really important, and then what our view of the future is. The things that we're hopeful. That's a really good exercise to get students thinking about that. So. Yeah. Oh, very good. I look, I, look, I look forward to seeing lots of different um, unique flag uh, yeah. options. Thank you for joining us at Brandon Falls Primary School and letting us interview with you. It's a pleasure. Thank you.